Hey guys, so I wanted to take a few minutes and tell you about a company that I learned about through Facebook. Uh, and the company's name is Orglamix Cosmetics. And they are available through Etsy. And the website is www.orglamix.etsy.com. They also have a Facebook page, which is Orglamix Cosmetics. Um, so, I contacted Sherry, who is the owner and operator of Orglamix. And she was very generous to send me a bunch of stuff to try and review. When I got the products, they were in this cute little um, green satchel type drawstring bag. And I thought that was a cute little touch. And the other, the thing that really got my attention though, was when I opened the package, I, out came like this waft of yummy smell. Not like tasty yummy, but like, mmm, that smells good yummy. <laughs> anyway, so I went searching for the smell, firstly, <laughs> and I found these. These are the leaves that she puts in the orders, and they are all scented, and they smell magnificent, and so I contacted her about the smell, like, what the heck is that? And it's actually a perfume of hers that she made, and she'll be selling it in the near future on through Etsy so I'm definitely gonna be looking out for that smell it reminds me of a um, lotion that my dad used to buy for my mom all the time growing up from a flower I shop. thought that that was really cool that you know she puts that extra touch in there because to me that shows that a company is willing to go that extra little bit for presentation and customer service and everything I mean who doesn't want to smell nice things when they get a package in the mail I know I do she sent me 14 things all together and four of them are face products, which are these right here. I also want to point out that the packaging on these is really cute. It's not a sticker. It's actually on the lid. And it's this cute flower, and it just says Orglamix. And then on the bottom is the label, and that's a sticker. And the jar is a sifter. So it looks really big. And it actually is about their, they range in one gram to one and a half grams of product. And I believe that this is by weight, not by volume. Um, if it were by volume, it would be a much smaller jar, but it is by weight, so you actually get more product that way. Uh, all of their single products, I believe, are around $4.99, give or take. I'm not sure if there are things on the site that are cost more. Um, I know that she does sell like kits, like pre-done kits with coordinated colors and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, so to the face products, I have three different concealers here. And I used all three of them a couple times. I, I suggest still using a regular concealer with these, especially if the pigmentation that you're trying to cover is extremely dramatic. Um, like you can see right there, I've got a little blemish there. It was really red. And uh, this green mentha, um, which is a green toned concealer, did take like 95% of the redness away. Um, so, uh, good product. <laughs> good concealer. This is a really good concealer. So what I did is I just took, just it says to use a concealer brush, but I find that these $1 e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes are really multi-purpose. So I just dipped and swirled a little bit of the product on, dabbed it on, and I covered all my stuff, and then I went around and buffed it in, kind of like in a circular motion to kind of blend it out, and then I covered it with my regular concealer and foundation. So the other concealer I have is Abricot, and this is a peachy, yellowy toned concealer. And this is really good for brightening around the eyes, you know, all that stuff. The pink one covers really, I have like a little blue vein right here. And it covers the blue vein really nicely to the point where, you know, it's not, it's really not noticeable. So I really suggest the concealers. These also are all $4.99 a piece. Good products. They're all natural. That's the one thing I forgot to mention. All this stuff is organic. Okay, so it's all natural. There's no synthetic dyes, no synthetic fragrances, no parabens, no sulfates, none of that stuff. So that's good. The other face product that I got here... Oops, wrong one. Okay. Nope, nope, wrong one again. Okay, this is called uh, HD Micro Finish, and this is Hush Hush. And this is the finishing powder that I used today, and I absolutely love it. Okay, um, this is also $4.99. And 
this stuff, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but when I open the lid, it kind of like smokes up because of how fine it is. I don't know if the camera is catching that at all. It's literally like, it's like super duper fine. I don't know how well you can see that, but it does not take a lot at all. Um, this mattifies, but what I like about it is it doesn't make you look dried out. Uh, you know, some mattifying things that mattify, like if I use uh, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and then I put anything mattifying over top of it, it actually makes me look really dry, which in turn will, if you have wrinkles, it'll make your wrinkles stand out more, so you don't want that. So this stuff I definitely would recommend, the Hush Hush, so you can see that there. Uh, it's really fine, it doesn't take a lot, I just went over it with a powder brush and I have not touched this up all day and I've been wearing it all day and normally I would have some oil coming through. Uh, so yeah, definitely good products. Okay, so now that I've got the face stuff done, I'm going to go on to the eyeshadows. Now, I saw the eyeshadows and I thought, okay, those are really pretty colors, but just like I say in any other thing, you're always skeptical, is it going to look the way it looks First I will jar. say that all the eyeshadows that I have used, a couple of them I haven't used like on myself yet, but out of all the ones that I've used, they're all really blendable, really silky, smooth, they apply easily, they're very pigmented, um, they're beautiful colors, so they're made well. And these also, like I said with the other products, they also do not have any sulfates, no parabens, no synthetic dyes or fragrances. And there's another word on there that I just don't even try to pronounce. <laughs> so it's like P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S, I think, something like that. And it just sounds phthalates. I don't know, whatever. But it's not in there either, <laughs> whatever that word is. So anyway, um, these eyeshadows are amazing. And one of the things that I like about a couple of these colors here is that they are made for positive energies so certain colors promote certain kind of um, feelings okay like uh, orange it says here she's got it on the side it says orange this color balances passion and creativity confident sexy charismatic I think that that's kind of cool you know that she puts like that little bit of something with that stuff so if you're feeling a little down or something like that you could slap on some orange and make you feel confident does it work? I don't know, but it's kind of a cool idea. It's a cool yeah, eyeshadows that I'm wearing, I'll show you these. I, I have some swatches, which I'll post a little bit later, along with a couple pictures of the looks that I've done using these so far. This is um, yellow, and it's just very simply... These actually, you know what, now that I think about it, they kind of remind me of Glamour Doll Eyes a little bit, um, with the texture of the shadows. So if you like Glamour Doll Eyes at all, you will love this, okay? Um... This is called Yellow. This is similar to Glamour Doll's Eyes Electric Lemonade, but I want to say it's just a little bit more yellow. It's a little bit more pigmented. And that's what I'm wearing here on my inner corner there. Um, the next color I'm wearing is called Absinthe, and it's this nice bright yellowy green. And that is what's on my lid. The next color I'm wearing is Orange. Right here, which is a beautiful, I absolutely love this. It's like a golden orange color. It's a really pretty color. And that I have right here kind of blended down into my blue a little bit and just a smidge of it right there to help blend into the purple I have on. And the purple I have on in my lower lash line is called Ginkgo. And it's just a really pretty purple. And it blends out kind of bluey. Um, so it's kind of got, it's kind of got like a pink shimmer gloss to it. But then it kind of blends out like a, a dark darker purple. Um, here's the next color I have on. This is called Aegean and this is actually one of my favorite ones that she sent me. And it is just this gorgeous blue, green, green, blue, whatever color you want to call it. But that's what I have outside here. My outer corner. And then as for my highlight, I am wearing pearl, which is just a really nice um, silvery shimmer white. So it's like really shimmery. Okay, so then the other ones that I have are Goji, which is just this color here, uh, Sandalwood, which I absolutely love. This is a really nice basic color to have. 
because depending on the bases you put underneath them will depend on what the color. And for my swatches, I have them on two different bases, so you'll be able to see the difference. Um, like on a white base, it's the colors are a little bit more opaque. This is called Peppermint, and it's just a really pretty, really glitzy red. Love that. And then the last one I have is Spicy Toffee. And this is, I, I think that this kind of reminds me a little bit of Max Pink Bronze, but not so bronzy. But it's kind of like that salmon-y color, um, if I'm describing that right. I don't know. So, yeah, um, I definitely suggest... Uh, you guys check these this place out. There are tons of shades to pick from. Uh, she's got quite a few on there, different collections, like I said. Um, they're very smooth, uh, very, very nice. So, on to my announcement, my special announcement. I said that I had a special announcement to make, and I'm going to make it now, I suppose. So, Sherry was not only so generous to send me all this stuff, but she also offered to sponsor a giveaway for my fans. So there will be two winners, one winner for Facebook and one winner for YouTube. Uh, all you have to do, it is so simple, all you have to do is go to www.orglamix, that's O-R-G-L-A-M-I-X, Dot Etsy .com. I'll put the link in the description box below. Pick out five shades of eyeshadow that you would like to win. Okay? And then you're going to enter those into the comments below. And those five eyeshadows will be your entry. Okay? For Facebook, um, if you want to double your chances at winning, you can go over to Facebook and go to Beauty by Charlie, click the like button, and do the same thing on the designated post for the contest entry. The rules are there's one entry per person per forum, so you can only enter once on either forum. Um, you can enter on both forums, but only one time on each one, okay? Um, 18 or over, unless you have a parent's permission, of course. Uh, she will ship internationally, so if you live in Timbuktu, you can enter. Uh, so, yeah, uh, just go find your five shades, post them below, that'll be your entry, and this will be completely random The draw. contest starts now, so go check out the site, and pick out your stuff, and the contest will end on November 19th, so that gives you two weeks, at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so my time zone, if you're in the Pacific, Remember, you're three hours behind, so it ends three hours before 11.59, so it's 12. So it ends at like 8.59 on the West Coast. So anyways, yeah, you guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to enter my giveaway. Uh, Beauty by Charlie on Facebook. I, I'll post all that stuff below. It'll be a little easier that way. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys liked my review, and... Uh, yeah, have some fun and enter. I think you'll really like this stuff. I will see you guys next time. Bye!